The escalating conflict overseas after another round of U.S. strikes on Yemen's Iran-backed Houthi rebels. And the Houthis are vowing to retaliate. ABC's Jay O'Brien is at the White House now following this one. Good morning, Jay. Geo, this is the latest U.S. attempt to turn up the heat on this Iran-backed militia group, not just defending commercial ships from their attacks, but striking the militants in their own territory. Overnight, another U.S. airstrike targeting Houthi militants in Yemen, responding to an anti-ship ballistic missile the Iran-backed rebels fired towards a commercial vessel yesterday, the latest in a wave of attacks in the Red Sea. U.S. Central Command releasing a statement saying missiles fired from a Navy ship targeted a radar site, and the strike was designed to degrade the Houthis' ability to attack maritime vessels, including commercial vessels. It comes after a massive joint U.S. and U.K. strike on the militant group earlier this week. A wave of 80 Tomahawk cruise missiles launched from Navy ships and a submarine and backed by fighter jets, the largest U.S. strike in the Middle East in years. New video showing the aftermath. British forces releasing these images of explosions destroying Houthi facilities. In all, more than 60 Houthi targets hit. The Pentagon saying weapons depots, radar and surveillance systems and facilities for attack drones were all targeted. Thousands of protesters taking to the streets in Yemen's capital to condemn the assault, burning American and Israeli flags. Houthi leaders vowing revenge. The retaliatory strikes in response to an escalating series of attacks since the start of the Israel-Hamas war by Houthi militants on commercial ships in the Red Sea, a vital global shipping lane. Military officials reporting at least 28 incidents since mid-November. At least four oil tankers diverting course away from the Red Sea after the strikes earlier this week, according to shipping data. President Biden saying he sent a message to the militants and their backers in Iran. I've already delivered the message to man. They know not to do anything. President Biden saying that while the administration does not want a wider war with the Houthis, he's not ruling out taking additional measures if these attacks on commercial ships don't stop. What? Yeah, alarming developments there. Jay, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.